Welcome to 12 Days of Polish. Today we're going to talk about polishes I always forget to wear. This was actually an idea from Jennifer Wallenfels. We were talking about like just ideas and she threw this at me and I was like, yes, yes, let's do this because this year there was a significant change in not only my polish wearing habits, but also my polish buying habits. And so what comes with a large collection and a continuously growing collection is that you do end up forgetting about polishes that you have, right? So today that's what I'm gonna share with you guys. I have six here. Um, I threw in one extra because I just, I couldn't help myself. So let's get started. The first one is a favorite from 2016 and it actually kind of blows me away that I think maybe I, I don't even know if I've, I've worn this polish once this year and that is Essie's Starry Starry Night. This is the reformulated version. There was a lot of disappointment surrounding this polish. So many people were rushing out to get it and then they realized it wasn't like the original. That wasn't what I was seeking in this polish and I love this polish for what it is. Um, but I just don't wear it. I think it's so pretty. I, I, I love it. I love a dark blue and you know, this is a dark blue jelly and it has silver, I don't want to say like micro glitter. It's a little bit bigger than micro, but it, I just, I love the combination. And I just find that I have all these polishes coming in all the time, that this is one that I always end up putting on the back burner and forgetting to wear. The next one is another Essie and it's actually an untried polish. And that is Silvu Play. This I think was maybe from the spring 2017 collection. It's a foil pink polish. This I mean, I think this was a standout from that collection. I saw so many photos of this on Instagram and a lot of people were talking about it. So I did, I gave into the hype and I bought it, but I haven't worn it. I don't know why, but I haven't worn it. I kind of want to challenge myself to wear some you know, some of my untrieds that I've bought this year before 2018 hits. We'll see if that happens, but I do think that this one would look good as a really girly winter manicure because it does have that kind of frosty look almost. I mean, it's really pretty in the bottle. We'll see what I think when I actually get it on my hands. Next up is a polish that I actually only own one from the brand. I should have included this in my one and only's uh, polish video, but that is Ginger and Liz's Kicking and Screaming. This is a brand that was sold at Ulta. I don't see it anymore. Admittedly, I don't go there as often as I used to, but I feel like they've kind of faded out um, this brand altogether. But this reminds me of Essie Starry Starry Night, but there's some purple glitter in there and it, it looks like some teal glitter in there as well. It's, it's a polish that has a lot of depth and I, I've enjoyed wearing this every single time that I have worn it, but it ends up in the back of my Helmers and I always, I always forget about it. And it's out of sight, out of mind kind of situation with this one. So this next one I threw in here, but while this in particular is one that I forget to wear, it's actually the brand and line as a whole, and that's the Kiss Gel Strong line. This polish in particular is called Pit a Pat. These are being found at Dollar Tree. They have been um, popping up there for at least a couple months now, and I actually picked up like 10 of them. And I've worn zero, zero. I've tried them, I've swatched them on maybe one finger, um, but it's gotten no further than that. So yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know why I haven't worn these. There's no real, I don't have a good reason. I don't have a good reason at all. So do you guys remember a couple months back there was so much talk about the Hot Topic Black, Black Heart Beauty polishes, the holographic polishes? Well, I gave into that. I did. I gave into it. I don't shop at Hot Topic. In fact, I hardly ever go to a clothing store, but I decided to pop in and I did. And I bought some polishes and guess what? I haven't worn a single one. This one in particular is Dark Purple Galaxy. It's one of their um, holographic, it's a linear holographic polish. Can I just say, I think Color Clubs is making these as well. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but it just seems like it. But I don't really like the packaging on this. Can I say that? I don't like the packaging on this. I'm not into skulls. Um, I know that I'm kind of personifying skulls, but I find them not so happy, you know? So I just, I don't know. It doesn't entice me to wear them. The last one is from Sinful Colors and it is Funky Fierce. I believe this was a part of the Fierce and Free collection that Sinful Colors released around 4th of July time. I have not worn this. I, I don't, I haven't worn it. It's a purple and has a lot of gold in there. I mean, it's, it's like a foil polish. 
I haven't worn it. I love So Symbolic from the same collection, so I really don't have an excuse. I have no excuse for not wearing this. I mean, it looks so pretty in the model, doesn't it? Doesn't it? So those are polishes. That's just a glimpse into the collection of polishes that are my untrieds, okay? That's just a glimpse into that. Um, I, this video could be forever long, but I'm just gonna cut it off here. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. Go ahead and let me know some of your untrieds or some of your polishes that you have loved in the past, but you just haven't pulled out lately. I would love to know. I would love to know. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.